Joining us on WHKY TV News, as he does once a month, is our District Attorney, Scott Riley, from the 36th Prosecutorial District, that is Burke, Caldwell, and Catawba Counties, in alphabetical order. Exactly. Good to see you. Good. And I hope that uh, you have a wonderful holiday. Of course, folks are watching this on Thanksgiving Day, and I hope that the day is going well for everybody. Well, I, I certainly hope so. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you. for having me, and Merry Christmas, if I don't see you before. Absolutely. That's right. Christmas is just around the corner. It's a lot closer this year. You have uh, some things you'd like to talk about in your monthly report. A couple of things we've touched on before, but it's important for people to know because these laws will take effect next week. Exactly. On December the 1st, and, and these are two laws that I, I really think are probably the most important laws that I have seen take effect since I've been an attorney for the last 30 years. And, and the first one we had talked about, it's raised the Age Act. Um, North Carolina right now is the only state in the union that treats 16 and 17 year old kids as adults. If they commit a crime, they go to adult court. Mm -hmm. Starting December 1st, for most cases, um, now if a 16 or 17 year old commits an offense, they will be treated as juveniles and their case will be treated in juvenile court. And also you want to talk about death by distribution. Right, now we have talked about that because when I started January 1st, I was just alarmed, distressed, upset with the number of opioid um, overdose cases that we were seeing. Uh, so many young children were actually dying as a result of taking opioids. And I was very frustrated um, because prosecuting the people that gave uh, these um, young children these drugs, it was very hard to prosecute them. We've prosecuted a number of these people for second degree murder. We've been, uh, we, we have obtained a conviction for one person for second degree murder, but it's still very difficult. All across the state you see district attorneys not able to get convictions for second degree murder because it's hard to prove the element of malice. The Death by Distribution Act makes it substantially easier for the state to prove these cases because it takes away the element of malice. All we have to do now, starting December 1st, is prove that drug dealer gives an opioid to a victim or somebody that takes that opioid, uh, they subsequently die. Drug dealers guilty of death by distribution, a Class C felony, carries a mandatory prison sentence, has a lot more teeth than, than what we've been able to use in the past. So I'm committed to aggressively prosecuting uh, these drug dealers that come in and spread this poison to our, to our young children. Got about 30 seconds to go. Marcy's Law, you have an update as well. Right, Marcy's Law took effect about two months ago. This is the law that dramatically um, expands victims' rights so that victims will always know when the perpetrator, when the defendant is in court and they have an opportunity to be heard at any time the defendant is in court. They have an opportunity to come in and speak with the district attorney's office. And I, I think almost most importantly, uh, they have the right to know any time the defendant is released from jail or prison. So there's going to be no surprises. They're not just going to happen to see uh, the defendant out in the grocery store. They're going to know that that person is, is out. An important law for sure. Thank you so much for coming in. I uh, always appreciate the update, and these are important things, I think, for the public to know. We appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you, and happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have a great holiday weekend. Enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it. District Attorney Scott Riley from the 36th Prosecutorial District with his monthly update here on WHKY-TV News.